Yo guys, what is going on? Vortex City back here with another video, and today we are talking about the brand new Xbox One X. So if you guys are into technology and tech videos, consider subscribing to see more videos just like this. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Just recently, Microsoft released their newest console, the Xbox One X, and it's not too much of a jump from the Xbox One S, but it's definitely got some new features that may get you to buy this new console. One of the biggest new features is the 4K support for certain games. So they have advanced their 4K picture quality quite a bit with this new console. So certain games like Forza Motorsport 7 will be working with Ultra 4K or what they say like that, which is pretty cool, but if you don't have a 4K TV, I, there's really no point in buying this console because that is really the whole point around this guy. So my impressions on this console aren't very good because it seems like this console is for those people who, are, who have a lot of money and they just want to like pick up this new console just because it's the newest thing because it doesn't run new games like the games you can run on this guy also run on the regular xbox so you don't get any advantages there if you don't have a 4k tv you don't get that 4k support so at the end of the day all you're really investing in is a bit of a smaller console which isn't a big deal to most people unless you're traveling with it and even then the xbox one s it does the job being around forty percent tinier than the xbox one so for that reason i don't really like this console and i don't see the point in this console because the PS4 Pro comes for those 4K users, the PlayStation is for just the regular users, and the Slim is for the ones who are on the go. Xbox has done it so it's like the regular Xbox is like the PlayStation, but then the Xbox One S is supposed to be like the next console, and then the X is like the one after that. So they're not really making like a lineup of consoles, they're kind of just making new consoles that aren't really like the next generation. So what I would do if I were Microsoft, I would make it like we have the expensive lineup, the budget lineup, and the travel lineup, just like PlayStation's doing. But they're not doing that, and that's why this console doesn't make any sense to me. So if I were you, unless you just bought a 4K TV and you really want the best quality on your games, I, I wouldn't buy this console. It doesn't make any sense why you would buy this console unless you really want that 4K support or you're just traveling everywhere and the Xbox One S is just too heavy for you which doesn't make any sense but uh, either way uh, I wouldn't pick this up so with that I'm Vortex City consider subscribing if you want to see more tech videos just like this one and I will see you guys in the next one peace